Although most people with heart disease don't have heart attacks until their 60s or 70s, the foundation for heart disease, or the buildup of cholesterol plaques in our arteries that later turn into heart attacks, starts much earlier on. So the way we framed our question was, how does having a prolonged exposure to high blood cholesterol in your 30s and 40s affect your future risk of heart disease in your 50s, 60s, and 70s? Our results were striking. Adults with 11 or more years of exposure to high blood cholesterol by the age of 55, meaning they would have been diagnosed with high cholesterol in their 40s, had a nearly four-fold increased risk of heart disease after the age of 55 compared to adults who did not have high cholesterol. So said another way, if you have two adults, both with the exact same health profile, the same blood pressures, and the same cholesterol measurements at the age of 55, but one has had a mildly elevated cholesterol for 11 years, and the other has only had one year of elevated cholesterol, the person with the longer duration of exposure to high cholesterol has a 40% increased chance of heart attack or heart disease in the future compared to the person who was only diagnosed in the last year. Even if you control everything else in your life, you maintain a healthy weight, you don't have diabetes, you don't smoke, and your blood pressure is controlled. Having high blood cholesterol in your 30s and 40s is still putting you at substantially increased risk of heart disease in the future.